more than three decades now. Uh, what do you think about the clause six implementation of clause six, which has been uh, propagated by uh, B the BJP government for the past uh, couple of months? There is a committee now. Uh, ASU initially rejected uh, to be a part of the committee initially in January 2019, but in July ASU joined it along with others. You see, clause 6 is a part of the Assam Accord. Assam Accord, there is a clause 6 that is a constitutional, cultural, political right of the Assamese people. Yes, so basically, that clause 6. What we understand that it is only for the people who are living in Assam permanently. It is for them. But now the question is, so definition of Assamese people in the clause six is the Assamese people. Now they are converting it to the indigenous people. So this term indigenous people, it is not in the Assam Accord nor in the clause six. Yes, there is a word now uh, no. doing rounds, Kilonjia. Kilonjia. Kilonjia, that is indigenous people. Now, this clause 6 committee, headed by Justice Biplo Sharma, they are what they are, have invited opinion from the public, different organizations, about the term in Kilonjia, or the indigenous people. So, basically, the question is if you say that you are uh, implementing Assam Accord, then it cannot be Kilonjia, it should be the Assamese people. And Assamese people, as far as Assam Accord, but in my understanding, it will be all the persons who have come or who is staying in Assam prior to 71. They are entitled to get benefit on, under this clause 6. Yes, because there is a clause 5. In the clause 5, 71 base year is there. So after 5, 6 has come. So you are not talking about clause 5. You are talking only about the clause 6. So clause 6, once you speak about clause 6, First of all, you have to first decide who is the person to be entitled to get benefit under the clause 6. That you are not deciding. Uh. Uh, uh. But do you think there is a fear? Uh, there is a fear among the Bengalis that if clause, uh, clause 6 is implemented, they will lose their rights. Mm. Uh, so I was saying, uh, sir. Uh, there is a there is obviously contentions uh, regarding the definition of the term uh, indigenous or Assamese in a way. Now the fe there is a fear among the Bengali communities, both Hindu and Muslims, uh, throughout Assam, particularly in Barak Valley, that they will lose. Uh, Barak Valley is particularly because. Uh, uh, Barak Valley is Bengali dominated uh, see, I, zone. I, 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 I so understand. there is an apprehension among the Bengali people that if six, uh, uh, six, clause 6 is implemented, uh, they may lose everything, uh, including their, uh, I mean, uh, political their political rights, rights their uh, human, rights, human rights, they will lose their jobs. Mm. You see, what basically the question. Do you think is, it is? Uh, is it? Uh, I mean, it, it it's actually is gonna be going to be like that. What happened? Actually, these people, those who are trying to implement Clause Six, in their mind that only the Assamese people is are to be benefited, not anybody else. But the question is, if they say that will not do, because there is a question of constitution is there, law is there. But once you have to impose this reservation, basically the question of reservation is coming from Assamese people. Now this Assamese people or indigenous people, until and unless that is decided, naturally nothing is coming out. So if you say Assamese people, it got another meaning, it will come under Assam Accord, meaning thereby, prior to 71, nobody is to be afraid of. But if you say, no, it is not Assamese people, Assamese speaking people, as envisaged in uh, Clause 6, then there is a problem, certainly there is a question of fear because among the Bengali-speaking people. Because, you see, Bengali is both Muslim and Hindus. Now, even they are bringing that Citizenship Amendment Act, even they immediately, they are also not getting benefit of this. Once they reserve it, naturally the reservation is meant for those people only. Those people, that it should be decided first, determined first. Then what that will come. 
so the people bengali people are in, are afraid of getting deprivation of other things from this uh, close six so this is as on today i don't think there is any question of fear because ultimately law constitution is there once question of reservation comes then it is amendment is required for two third majority is required in the parliament two third majority it will not come even today you see about seven to eight states already denied already refused to buzz about this they will not implement nrc they will not implement car etc so those people are there until unless those states support it two third majority will not be there and once there is a lack of two third majority there is no question of getting reservation of constitutional amendment it will be failed okay sir uh, but some people uh, there is a uh, there has been a uh, long term demand for separation from Barak Valley, but it has never gained momentum. Do you think uh, yeah. this fear will uh, create a momentum? No, no, I, I don't think so. Oh, you see, separation making a demand is so many long back the demand is coming. I don't think it is not feasible because Barak people are not united on this point. There are two views in Barak Valley. Muslims are not supporting separate one. Hindus are supporting it. How it can be possible? Until unless the people, all the people of Barak Valley come together and make united demand, then something may... may uh, but in Kashmir, sir, uh, they voted uh, Article 370 and uh, created two, two mm. states mm. out of uh, three states, including, uh, including right. Ladakh. Mm. So the same thing... Uh, so ultimately, I don't think the same, same type of thing will become... Uh, Barak Valley is not possible at all. Because there should not be any unanimity. There will not be any unanimity on that. So once there is no unanimity, there is no question of separation of Barak Thank you, sir.